Before I move into the business at hand, I know the Senate floor is closed today. I just want to say that uh, how disappointed I was in the President's comments yesterday relative to Iran. I know that we have questions uh, about the TIP report and trafficking. And I wonder if, because we have questions and concerns about trafficking, it throws us into a category of, of, of being bad people. Um, I thought the President's comments yesterday relative to Iran, I, I just want to put things in perspective. Before we had a 19 to 0 committee vote here, the White House had a veto threat against us weighing in on the Iran deal, veto threat, up until an hour and a half before that vote took place, because they did not want a public debate on Iran. Obviously, the committee chose otherwise. We passed it out on a 19-0 vote. Everyone here voted for it. But they did not want the issue debated. What the President did yesterday by saying that Senator Cardin, a ranking member who has questions about the Iran deal, Senator Menendez, who has questions about the Iran deal, uh, by the way, both of which voted against the Iraq War, if I remember correctly, Senator Johnson, who has concerns about the Iran deal, we are being compared to the hardliners in Iran because we have concerns, concerns that we are trying to have answered. Uh, just a few months ago, the President publicly was talking about what a thoughtful, principled person I was. I have to get the quote someplace. But now, <laughs> but now because I have concerns, and I think everyone has concerns, and people are going to have to make a decision. This is going to be one of the toughest decisions. But he's trying to shut down debate by saying those who have questions, legitimate questions, legitimate questions, are somehow unpatriotic, are somehow compared to hardliners in Iran. And again, it's to shut down debate, it's to make this about something other than arguing it on the merits of the deal. So I'm very disappointed. I, I know Senator Cardin was meeting with the President last night. I do want to say, Senator, I, I wish that you had been there last night to hear, to hear the discussion about Parcheen. Uh, Wendy Sherman said yesterday in banking she would come share with us how Parcheen, how that arrangement was working. I called her early this morning to ask her if she would at least, at a minimum, uh, let us have her notes from when she was briefed by the IAEA. And I'm beginning to believe uh, that one of the reasons they do not want people to know, it's not about Iran's confidentiality. I don't think it would stand the test of late night comedy if people understood how the Parcheen thing was being done. So I, I just hope that today we thank Sarah Sewell for being here. The fact that we have concerns about trafficking, that again on a unanimous vote, we voted to end modern slavery in this world, that somehow we will not be viewed as people who are unpatriotic, be viewed as people that somehow are not serious about this issue.